Ooh. and Frost Plush Trap. Frost Plush Trap is Plush Trap's first and currently only AR skin, and was added on Christmas Eve 2020 at the end of the Winter Wonderland event, or at least at the end of the animatronics being added, it was the last one. Frost Plush Trap has a similar body structure to that of normal Plush Trap, with the main difference being, you know, ice. The character is made completely of light blue ice with black sunken eye sockets with white dots for eyes, and spikes of the same blue ice coming off of it in just every way. Like, it's... It, it's freaky. But while wow, menacing, this guy is tiny, so I'm not really that intimidated. I kind of just accept that he can kill me, but I could also just, like, kick him away. <laughs> Like the age-old question of if you'd rather fight a horse-sized baby or a hundred baby-sized horses. You take the horses that are the size of babies, so you can just kick them away. Just go, boom! There's a fur flying everywhere now. But yeah, that's right, I said it. I'd kick baby-sized horses. Come at me, PETA. And at nine, Magician Mangle. Magician Mangle is one of the circus-themed skins added by the Dark Circus event. The same event as Clown Springtrap from the last video. This was also Mangle's first skin in special delivery. What's worse than an animatronic who wants to murder you and is constantly pulled apart and put back together? One that can do all that and magic. And while resembling Mangle, there are a few key differences. Like their white fur is now a dark green, the pink has now turned into a more of a light brown, and the addition of a top hat and bunny ears on the additional head. The scariest feature of them all. And with an eye that is a crystal ball, Mangle will see your death coming and make sure it happens. It's gonna bite your face off. It's just weird and it's creepy, man. There's playing cards stuck to it, they're holding a giant saw. It's just not okay, especially with the floating knives. Th that That's a big no from me, dog. No. Fellow kids. And it ain't System Error Bonnie. System Error Bonnie is the final alternate skin introduced in the Arcade Mayhem event, the same event as VR Toy Freddy and High Score Toy Chica, and is the first alternate skin for Toy Bonnie. While sharing a similar model to Toy Bonnie, System Error will send shivers down the spine of anyone who had an Xbox and knows the Red Ring of Death. The character has switched from mainly blue to completely red, with a black screen in the middle of their stomach that says System Error, much like me when I see these animatronics. He makes the area around him slightly pixelate with an 8-bit effect, exclusive to this character. And they have glowing yellow facial features that will surely scare any wandering player. Honestly though, this is pretty creepy and it doesn't even have an attack mode variant because it doesn't need one. This dude is mad and he will eat your sweet, supple flesh. And at 7, Woodland Toy Freddy. From the same event as Swamp Balloon Boy, we have Woodland Toy Freddy. Released on November 12, 2020 as the start of the Woodland event, Woodland Freddy looks like he belongs in Shrek Swamp and I wish he had never left. Made entirely out of wood and covered in tree rotten moss, Woodland Toy Freddy is a sight that will cause sore eyes. There is a large gap in his chest and his limbs are covered in mushrooms. We all know how I feel about mushrooms, I hope. If not, subscribe, you'll get to know me. There isn't much room in my life for them. <laughs> But seriously, this thing is creepy. I feel like there are a million spiders in his chest cavity that are just about to pour out and it makes me uncomfortable because I hate spiders too. And this thing needs to just stop. Like, why is this a thing? What? What did they do to get them turned into like swamp beasts? And how do I undo it? Please, let me end this torture. Sky Daddy Scott. Gotta say it. I gotta say it. I want Sky Daddy Scott t-shirts. <laughs> and it's six toxic spring trap. Toxic Springtrap, while well, also the name of my high school, was the first skin added for Springtrap in FNAF AR's Wasteland event. This would not be the last skin for Springtrap, and you can see why, because this thing is horrifying and repulsive, with flesh melting and boils covering Springtrap's body after taking on a purple color instead of the classic yellowish green. This thing just looks flat out disgusting, and while it may not be the scariest appearance, it will be one of the scariest in backstory since it comes from the same event as Radioactive Foxy, who had a radiation symbol on him, meaning that he was man-made. We talked about this in the last video. So, this version of Springtrap is also probably man-made. It's horrible and just the melting flesh is really what gets me. But it's kind of funny that the purple guy finally is actually purple, like his son though. Ah, am I right? Back through into number five, Ringmaster Foxy. Imagine Foxy, but his hook is a whip. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's already out there, you f***ing sickos. Anyways, this guy looks like he should be in some Goosebumps book about the circus, since he was also added in the Dark Carnival event that added Clown Springtrap and Magician Mangle. I also just realized that the Fazbear Frights books 
are the goosebumps of this generation, and it kind of scares me. Anyway, Ringmaster Foxy looks how you would expect a Ringmaster Fox to look, especially in a horror game, with a tattered red jacket, whip, and top hat that seems to be steampunk inspired with metal plates on the front. Oh, and two toes, since people love counting Foxy toes for some reason. Like, also, that's, that's definitely out there. Y'all, y'all are into some weird sh**, let me tell you that right now. I can swear because I'm the one editing this, but like, you need to like, relax. <laughs> Since people love counting foxy toes, this one has two of them, how fun is that? His eye glows yellow and his chest has some glowing texture on it that I don't really want to see because I'm already pretty distressed. And it, I didn't even get to the skulls on his belt. Yeah, I'm done for now. Yikes. And at four, Black Ice Frostbear. Black Ice Frostbear is the first skin for Freddy Frostbear in FNAF AR, and is the first skin for another version of the character. It's basically a skin skin, since Frostbear is just a retextured Freddy, but whatever. He was released on December 4th, 2020 as the start of the Winter Wonderland event, and Black Ice Freddy Frostbear is similar to normal Frostbear. I guess that's pretty obvious. It's Freddy made entirely out of ice. However, the ice is darker and has spikes coming out of his arms and legs, and as any driver will tell you black ice is really dangerous, at least I think, I only have my G1, or can be, especially if you're somewhere where it actually snows. But the spikes are really what get me here. This dude is terrifying. By far one of the scariest versions of Freddy I've seen. Not the most, because Nightmare Freddy is still horrific. Same with Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear, but this guy is definitely like fourth place. Or like sixth, at, like between that range. Fourth and sixth, like fourth, fifth, or sixth, that's where this guy is. And at three, Boulder Toy Bonnie. Imagine Swamp Balloon Boy on illicit substances that are typically controlled by your government. That's what Boulder Toy Bonnie is. Made completely of stone, this skin was released on November 19, 2020 as part of the Haunted Forest event. Imagine if Bonnie was a statue and you get Boulder Toy Bonnie. It's just horrifying, and the cracks and the vines in those cracks, but also it's growing out of them with the black voids for eyes with no light inside them. It's terrifying. And this man only has three toes. Where did the others go? I bet you that at least one person is really enjoying the idea of stone animatronic feet. And honestly, I think that's the most terrifying thing of all. And at two, Scorching Chica. Scorching Chica is a Chica skin for this sizzling summer event that was released on August 6th, 2020. She is the third skin in the sizzling summer lineup and looks absolutely terrifying. Scorching Chica's design is nearly identical to Chica, except she's on fire and made out of scorching magma-like material. This is how my apartment feels on the regular. Her eyes are bright orange and turned red during encounters. It's horrifying. Like, if this is what Jacko Chica looked like, I would be crapping myself on the regular, especially in the helpy sections of FNAF VR and the Danger Keep Out. This skin is very similar to the Flaming Spring Trap, since they're from the same event. I talked about it in the previous part, and this scorched cupcake is like just a burnt cupcake, and I don't know if that's scarier or just kind of funny. Maybe both. Eh, you decide. Finally, in number one, Dark Water Bear Endo. Dark Water Bear Endo is Bear Endo's second skin and the first of the currently happening Wicked Tides event. The skin was released on May 20th, 2021, only like a week ago at this point. This version of Endo really resembles a walking anglerfish. They have multiple small tendrils coming out of their arms and torso, and their hands are colored black and their fingertips glowing blue. The torso is filled with a multicolored pattern that looks similar to coral. Their mouth has a more fish-like look with the thin, sharp teeth and multiple sharp curled tendrils sticking out of the lower side. It's messed up. They have two large fins on each side of their head and the iconic anglerfish antenna at the top of their head hanging down. Finally, both of their eyes are large and glow a bright white. It's absolutely terrifying and I don't know how this is classified as bear endo anymore. It's, this is actually the stuff of nightmares. This is what I imagine like sea monsters to be. Like the, like the, um, what are they? The Zoruas? No, that's a Pokemon. The Zoras from Legend of Zelda, if they were on meth, this would be what they looked like. Like, uh, what? This reminds me of some form of monster from like a video game or something, and I can't, I can't pinpoint what, what source of media this comes from. But it looks so similar to it. It's like the missing link from Monsters vs. Aliens on roids. That's what I think this is. Am I wrong? If, if this is, if this looks similar to, 
If this looks more similar to something else that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments, see if this sparks my memory, because it's been bugging me for literally a day. Like, I, re I wrote this yesterday, I'm filming it, um, I mean, no, I filmed this two days ago for you, I'm filming it yesterday for you, and I, it's still bugging me. It's still bugging me. Number 10, Aeronaut Toy Freddy. Aeronaut Toy Freddy is a skin for Toy Freddy with a steampunk pilot and engineer theme. He is Toy Freddy's third skin and the second skin added in the Scream Punk event. He was released on July 1st. Aeronaut Toy Freddy is a much darker shade of brown than his original counterpart with a lighter colored snout and mouth. His hat is now much larger and features various scrap metal and gears. He wears large gear and magnifying glass based goggles. He also wears a large leather trench coat, leather pants, a leather boot, and a clock based bow tie, which is weird. His chest cavity is broken up to show multiple golden gears and he wears a golden pilot badge. He has a large bag strapped around his shoulder and he has a steampunk arm cannon on his left forearm. His left hand and right foot are also encased with golden metal, which is pretty sick. Finally, he wields a large metal wrench. However, while interesting, it isn't the scariest skin. I just don't want him to get anywhere close to me with that wrench because we all know how that's gonna end. In a 9, Flamethrower Bear Endo. Flamethrower Bear Endo was a new summer themed animatronic added on July 23rd, 2020 from FNAF AR's event known as the Sizzling Summer Event. Flamethrower Bear Endo is an orange endoskeleton with a large red welding mask and two large gas canisters on his back. The canisters are also hooked up to a flamethrower attached to his arm. And while not the most intimidating character looks wise, the fact that this character straight up has a flamethrower makes him probably the most dangerous one out of the bunch. Some of these sure have their advantages as well, but some are only good in the water or something similar. This dude will burn your house down for fun and then regret nothing. Mostly because robots don't have emotions. But still, there's something to be scared of. This guy was built to burn sh down, and I don't think that he's gonna be waiting for your approval before going berserk. I don't know, maybe he's a sweet guy after all. Maybe I can change him. And a day, Broiler Baby. Broiler Baby is the first skin for Circus Baby in Special Delivery and the second skin for the Sizzling Summer event, added after Flamethrower Bear Endo. Broiler Baby, for the most part, looks exactly like Circus Baby, except the fact that she is covered in soot and has red eyes instead of green. She also features a large broiler on her stomach. And instead of a microphone, she holds a coal shovel. The inside of her mask also seems to be lit up by fire. The red eyes are not only meant to indicate fire and heat, but also I'm sure to let us know that this version of Baby is not possessed by Elizabeth Afton, since Baby's eyes were originally blue and then changed to green when she got possessed. And not only does the inside of her head look like she was on fire, but her endoskeleton also appears to be red hot, similar to Flamethrower Endo. The coal shovel looks like a feather in the screenshot orientation, at least from what I saw, but all of this begs the question, why? Where did this come from, and how did this happen? And it's 7, Melted Chocolate Bunny. Melted Chocolate Bunny is a melted variant of Chocolate Bunny, obviously, released on April 1st, 2021. He is the fourth skin for Bonnie and the first skin of 2021 to be released alone. Melted Chocolate Bunny looks near identical to Chocolate Bunny, except he's obviously melting. He has way more holes than the original Chocolate Bonnie, some of which show more of his endoskeleton, and is now a slightly darker shade of brown. Finally, on his upper left arm, lower right arm, and left hand, various small sprinkles can be seen. Kinda like those little Debbie rainbow sprinkle brownies. It also took me forever to remember what the hell these were called. Even if it reminds me of a cherished childhood treat, this thing is still horrifying. It being melted gives it a more ruined appearance, like it just shouldn't exist, which just adds to the creep factor. It looks like a zombie, like a chocolate zombie, which isn't healthy because it wants you to eat it, but if you take a bite, then you also become a chocolate zombie too. And it's six, Blackheart Bonnie. Blackheart Bonnie is a Valentine's Day themed skin for Bonnie released on February 4th, 2021. He is Bonnie's third skin and was added during the Heartstoppers event on the same day as Heartsick Baby. Blackheart Bonnie looks nearly identical to Bonnie, however his entire body is now made up of black glass. His torso, upper left arm, right forearm, and both his legs are covered in scratches, cracks, and holes. His eyes are mostly black, but his irises glow a bright red. Finally, in his torso, there is a pixelated heart that flickers and glows. This is the scarier of the two Valentine's Day skins, but oh my god, is this thing wicked sick. I love the color red, and that being combined with black just makes for a badass color palette. And while it does look incredibly sick, 
I'm still running away. Cause this dude got his heart broken and he's about to act out. This guy is gonna key your car as you're driving by on the highway. He's gonna open the back door of the van, lean out and key your car as you try to drive away. It's not okay. He will jump on a tractor trailer in order to catch up with you. He is insane and you need to stay away from him. You thought It Follows was bad? Blackheart Bonnie is worse. Halfway through and in number five, Big Bad Foxy. Big Bad Foxy is Foxy's third skin and the second skin for the delayed Scary Tales event. He was leaked early on when his assets were found in the game's files though. Big Bad Foxy appears to look identical to Foxy, however is now slightly darker in color and covered in dark gray hair. His hair tufts have extended length and the left eye is now a large gaping hole shaped to look angry, while his right eye is now black with a red pupil. However, when used during encounters, he's instead replaced by my grandma, who wears a torn blue nightgown, a light blue nightcap, and large gold rimmed glasses, which is weird because her glasses aren't normally that big. And that nightgown must have gone through the ringer. Like, Grandma, are you okay? That thing is tattered more than the old blanket you keep in the basement where you used to hide all the Christmas presents. What? Come closer. Are you, are you sure, Grandma? Like, I mean, like, we're both vaccinated, but like, COVID's still a thing. Like, I don't want to put you at risk. What do you mean it's not a problem? Of course it is! And in four, Jetpack Balloon Boy. Jetpack Balloon Boy is Balloon Boy's third skin and the third skin of the Scream Punk event. The skin was released on July 8th after being leaked by Lumix's community tab on YouTube over 12 hours early. But I mean, still better than Funko leaking the designs of the Security Breach animatronics, right? Jetpack Balloon Boy's body shape looks identical to that of Balloon Boy, but he now wears a brown leather coat with wool inside the hood and a large pilot's hat decorated with various gears, bulbs, and other devices. He wears a pair of goggles with the right lens colored green and the left lens broken open to reveal a robotic yellow eye. His shoes and arms also appear to be made up of a bronze metal and covered in gears, and his sign now reads, Let's Fly, with letters being made out of scrap metal bolted onto the blank sign. His balloon is decorated to look like that of a hot air balloon with gears, jewels, and curtains covering it, although I haven't really seen many hot air balloons that look like that. And finally, as his name suggests, he wears a large jetpack on his back, which he will use to fly over your house and dive bomb it. Because that's what steampunk stuff does, right? Blow things up? I mean, sounds like it would be fun. And in 3, Clockwork Ballora. Man, with Minecraft getting those copper blocks, steampunk seems to be all over the place. Clockwork Ballora is Ballora's second skin and the first skin of the Screampunk event. Clockwork Ballora looks pretty much like normal Ballora, but is made entirely out of golden gears and plates, cause steampunk. Her crown and her shoulder pads have become large gears, and her lower legs, sections of her arms, and her pelvis are all colored in a rust color, cause again, you know, steampunk. Her tutu is made up of a large gear rotating that also looks like it can play records, and her top is made up of another rust colored bottom piece, and a black colored top piece with a rose pattern on it. Finally, the gold plates that make up her face, arms, and legs are welded into a Victorian style set of patterns with some red colored indents. But this time around, she comes with similarly styled mini renas. The clockwork mini renas look like clockwork Ballora, except their faces have blood stains and their eyes glow green, which is all the more menacing. Blood stained faces. Love that. Penultimate lean at number two, Sunken Toy Bonnie. As the second skin of the Wicked Tides event that had started as we released the last part of this list, Sunken Toy Bonnie is Toy Bonnie's third skin. Sunken Toy Bonnie also looks basically identical to Toy Bonnie, but is made entirely out of brown and green barnacle covered wood. His stomach is colored with dull pinks, blues, and purples, and he appears to be made out of a more glossy shell like texture. His bow tie is now made up of two purple scallops, and his cheeks have large lime covered clams covering them. His ear has a large ship in it, and his tail has large vein-like strands of stone covering it. Finally, his eyes are a multicolored watery texture that looks somewhat like opal, or a very blurry coral reef. Basically, a Bonnie animatronic if they were a Scooby-Doo beach villain like the ghost of Captain Cutler. Finally, in at number one, Piranha Plush Trap. Piranha Plush Trap is Plush Trap's second skin in FNAF AR and the third skin in the Wicked Tides event. He released on June 7th after being delayed by three days for unknown reasons. We actually made a community post about this, and and personally, this is one of the scariest FNAF AR skins ever added. Piranha Plush Trap is hardly like the original Plush Trap, except for like the face and being called Plush Trap. Now he's made of a more organic flesh-like material, even having realistic gums. His mouth is littered with long, thin, sharp teeth, and his eyes are extremely small and glow in ocean blue. On the sides of his head are two glowing orange gills, and his feet glow that same orange. His hands have orange webbing in between his fingers that also stretch out when his fingers move. Wonderful. His ears are covered with small barnacles, and his mouth stomach and right leg are covered in string-like algae. 
That kind of resembles veins. Finally, his body is just covered in spikes and his torso is split open revealing his ribs. This thing is actually horrifying and despite how terrifying it is, I hope we get to see it in another game instead of just special delivery because damn, it's scary but it's freaking cool. And it's at The Curse. The Curse is an Aztec-themed skin for the Springtrap animatronic. It was released on March 5th in the Ancient Equinox event and is the fourth skin for Springtrap. The Curse is a teal-colored Springtrap dressed to look like an ancient Aztec warrior. He has a large feathered crown and a golden chest piece, which had me thinking that we were gonna get to shoot him, but I guess not. When will I get to shoot the animatronics with guns? Like, guns seem like they would be really effective to the somehow still alive William Afton that would be inside Springtrap. Well, at least normal Springtrap. Not, not these, since they're made by the company to send to people's homes. But that makes no sense, because why would someone order a version of the killer? Anyway, his hands are colored orange with sharp black claws, and in one of them he holds a large golden shield. Honestly, I didn't realize that it was a shield. I thought that it was just like a giant fan, which I mean might say more about me than I realized. And he's also decorated head to toe in mostly ornate designs and some gold or maybe blood soaking his hands and feet. This dude is a menace, and at least one version of an Afton is looking like they're decaying, since decaying corpses aren't purple and instead green. This version is green. And a 9 High Score Chica. High Score Chica is a neon themed skin for obviously Toy Chica, released in May of 2020 as a part of the Arcade Mayhem event. This was the first alternate skin for Toy Chica and she's joined by her 8-bit cupcake. Toy Chica is a neon blue animatronic with an aura effect, but also looks like a neon sign with only her edges being blue. Her eyes are orange and yellow with the famous Let's Eat bib changed to say High Score, and the same orange as her eyes. In her attack mode, Game Over Toy Chica replaces the high score version, and her appearance changes, with the blue glow switching to red and purple, and her eyes changing to be red as well. Her bib changes to say Game Over, and her beak gets removed, because you had to, right? The animatronic almost appears like a hologram, with me feeling like I could almost push my hand through her and have no resistance, but I also like the idea that the bib is like one of those hats or masks that has the LED screen on it, so you can write stuff like whatever you want. Like that would be that would be kind of cool if I'm being honest. Like other than that, this version of Toy Chica just puts me on edge. And it ate VR Toy Freddy. Also added in May of 2020 as a part of the Arcade Mayhem event, we have VR Toy Freddy. A version of Toy Freddy similar to that of High Score Chica, with a purple holographic outline instead of blue and wearing a VR headset instead of having an 8-bit cupcake. However, in attack mode, VR Freddy loses the headset and, like me, when I have to come out of VR, looks pissed off. With his purple and slightly blue colors switching to yellow outlines with a red circuit board across his body, which really looks more like magical runes if you ask me, but whatever. But where this character really shines is in the eyes. Just like me, everything seems brighter when Toy Freddy takes off the headset. His eyes are glowing green with circuit lines coming from them and reaching across his face. It's actually fairly freaky considering the original skin. The fact that this guy goes from common colors to looking like a McDonald's reject is terrifying, but understandable because nobody takes me out of VR unless I'm ready. If you interrupt me, expect the same thing to happen with me, unless it's FNAF VR because I'm happy for any excuse to leave that game. And it's 7, Frostbite Balloon Boy. Frostbite Balloon Boy is genuinely the first animatronic on this list to actually creep me out, like 100%. Like, if Jeff the Killer got lost in the forest at Christmas, this is what I think would come of that. Frostbite Balloon Boy was added in the Winter Wonderland event on December 17, 2020. Frostbite Balloon Boy is honestly one of the most physically different skins on this list. Since, for his skin, Balloon Boy was slimmed down, he's made entirely out of snow, with icicles sticking out of him in various places and a large chunk of torso removed, showing showing dark blue ice on the inside of his body. Someone added some food coloring or something to the water because like that's the only way that this can happen, right? Anyway, his balloon and sign are also made out of snow and ice, with his sign saying avalanche instead of the typical balloons. And his face is just, it's damn creepy. Look at this thing. When I said Jeff the Killer getting lost at Christmas, I wasn't kidding. This dude looks menacing. It genuinely makes me uncomfortable the way his dark eyes are like an abyss for my fraction of a soul. And his smile is just so Joker-like. And the sharp teeth is really what makes it too much. Nightmare Balloon Boy has nothing on this. Straight up. No cap. What up, fellow kids? And it's 6, Arctic Ballora. Arctic Ballora is Ballora's first and currently only skin and was released on December 10th, 2020 as a part of the Winter Wonderland event. A week before Frostbite Balloon Boy. 
Arctic Ballora is physically identical, at least the base animatronic is, to her original counterpart, unlike how Frostbite Balloon Boy was slimmed down. Ballora is slim thick. But there are a few new additions in the form of ice spikes coming out of her torso and head, almost looking like the Ice Queen from Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but if she was an adult. Arctic Ballora is as expected made out of ice, with pink jewelry on her face and stomach, and her top changing colors to pink as well, while also being a slightly different shape than a normal Ballora. Plus, every male fan that has a thing for Ballora can finally see what's underneath it, since she's made out of fairly transparent ice, from what I can see at least. However, she is a cold-hearted so I don't suggest sticking around for too long. And while it may sound fun to have your tongue stuck to her, with the tutu made of ice spikes, it's, it's probably not the best idea. Alright, we're doing a number 5, Radioactive Foxy. And you thought the Chernobyl movie was scary? Wait till you see Radioactive Foxy. Added as a part of the Wasteland themed skins in the Wasteland event, this version of Foxy looks almost identical to normal Foxy, except Radioactive Foxy is neon green and kinda transparent. You can see his endoskeleton fairly well, and it features a radioactive symbol on his stomach, along with a double hook, presumably because he had to have some form of mutation, and two heads is a little much. This dude is glowing green, and what makes this scary to me is the inclusion of the radioactive symbol on his stomach. Or maybe it's like on like the back of his back, or like the interior of his back, since it's translucent, but... I don't know. It's not like any form of radiation would realistically put that there, so someone had to have put it there themselves. So they planned for this version of Foxy to be radioactive. Now I'm not sure about the canonicity of this game or the canonicity of the skins of the characters, but what I do know is someone planning on making a character radioactive with actual radiation is a bad thing. And Foxy is already kind of scary as it is. Like his eye is glowing as if it was on, but he has no light behind it. He's just making the light himself. Like what the actual hell is going on? And then for Swamp Balloon Boy. Frostbite Balloon Boy was scary. The little no no snow dealer was making sure all the bitty baps got their fix, but for some reason Swamp Balloon Boy irks me more than his frozen counterpart. Swamp Balloon Boy was Balloon Boy's first skin released on November 26, 2020, and the third member of the Haunted Forest lineup. Sounds like something Great Wolf Lodge would do, honestly. It's like one of their wings. The Haunted Forest wing. Anyway, Swamp Balloon Boy is identical to normal Balloon Boy, but is made entirely out of mud. Like, the dude showed up for the opening of Shrek, which turns 20 this year, by the way. Like, yesterday, I'm pretty sure, as this video is going out, if it's going out on time, and today as I'm recording it. But throughout his body, we can see many roots, vines, leaves, and moss sticking out and growing out of him. His mouth is small and has a crack attached to each corner of the mouth that goes all the way around his head. And his eyes are empty, but more soul-sucking than the previous version we discussed. His sign literally looks like he pulled it from Shrek's swamp, and it says rot instead of balloons. Why is this so creepy though? Like, this, you, you, I don't mess around with swamps, and this is why. I feel like this is going to come out. I will deal with swamp thing, I will deal with Shrek, I ain't dealing with freaking mud balloon boy. And at three, Katrina Toy Chica. My first reaction to this is, what the f Katrina Toy Chica was added during the Halloween event and is the only one to have been added this way in 2020. As in, like, in the Halloween event. This skin is based off the character La Cartina de los Tolortis. I'm sorry, I totally butchered that. Who is a popular character in Mexican culture who is the representation of high society. She is one of the most popular figures at the Feast of the Day of the Dead in Mexico, according to what I found online. As for the actual character, the skin of the animatronic is a greenish-gray color with a dark gray, nearly black beak, and glowing red eyes and mouth, almost as if hell is burning from within. She has styled long black hair with various flowers throughout, and even around her eyes. She wears a tattered purple cloth that reaches down to her thighs, and the big Bib says we're here in Spanish. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Maybe Eddie VR can do it for me. The cupcake is also horrific. Like the nightmare version, but just the skull. In typical Dia de los Muertos fashion. This thing is terrifying and actually genuinely scares me. That was literally my first reaction when I saw this thing. And ultimately in a number two, Flaming Springtrap. Flaming Springtrap was added during the sizzling summer event and was understandably the final skin to be added, at least in that update. Being Springtrap's second skin behind Toxic Springtrap, we weren't quite sure what to expect. Have you ever wondered what Springtrap looked like during the fire in FNAF 3, or wondered what it's like in my apartment right now? 
this is what it feels like. This also answers the original question, because he is definitely the kind of person to absorb up all the flames and then use them to his advantage. Flaming Springtrap is a coal-colored Springtrap with dark orange highlights, and he is glowing orange from his endoskeleton, since it's so hot, and he has flames spouting out of every open area possible. Uh -huh, 1000 degree endoskeleton challenge! His hands and feet are on fire the most, and for some reason he has no upper teeth. This is horrifying. Especially if these are real animatronics that Fast Bear Entertainment is sending to people's homes. And my building thinks that my power block is a fire hazard. No, no, no. What the flying is this. I'm sorry for all the swearing, but like, this is just so befuddling to me. How are these things real? This is honestly just horrific, and are the skins canon, or are they just like an illusion using the illusion discs that were introduced in the Twisted ones? Oh wait, that makes sense. Finally, in at number one, Clown Springtrap. That's right, the third Springtrap variation on this list. Clown Springtrap is Springtrap's third FNAF AR skin and was introduced in the Dark Circus event. Did you think that killer clowns were bad? Well, have I got a surprise for you! What about John Wayne Gacy as an animatronic robot? That's right, this bunny isn't William Afton anymore. Clown Springtrap has a pale white skin with blue and purple makeup around his eyes. He has messy purple hair and large red ripstick a la Joker. Clown Springtrap seems to be larger than his original counterpart, however it's unknown since his body is covered in a large torn clown suit, along with ripped black pants and shirt with a red and purple vest, and the signature large red clown shoes that Mr. Beast is guaranteed to want to run a marathon in. Don't forget the giant bow tie and flower on his chest that will definitely shoot water at you, but it will actually be blood. And to round off the DC analogy, he has the Joker lipstick like I said before, but also a Harley Quinn mallet, complete with red and black diamonds. So I guess this is true the epitome of loving yourself. This, this is so messed up. I'm fine with clowns, like I don't find them scary, but why is this so messed up? Why would anyone allow this to be a thing? Why, Scott? Why?